Hi Sagittarius, how are you? It's me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. As always, Saggy, these readings are timeless. When you get here is when you get here. And all 12 of the Zodiac sign readings, they are all for you. So title, timestamp, bop around, feel free. Um, there will be an extended to this reading. The link for that will be in the description box. Saggy, you have a, a really interesting energy this week, starting off Monday, right? We have like a case of the Mondays. Um, on your shuffle man so you had that song by um blake shelton called happy anywhere and some of the lyrics really stuck out to me for you um he starts the song he goes uh i've always been a rolling stone with a reckless streak um i've never let the get grass get too grown underneath my feet and then in the chorus he goes uh, i'm running wide open i was born with my feet in motion and it seems like saggy you've been just like going and moving forward and like planting seeds and like starting things and starting things. And there's that saying that like a rolling stone gathers no moss, but there's this energy that you're like, you know, I would like a little moss. Like I'm always starting these things. I'm always pushing forward. But like, when is something that'll like stick to me like moss on stone, right? It's um, this idea of constantly like planting things, but nothing's sticking or, or things aren't like growing yet or or the idea of like being able to like settle somewhere, like set down like some some roots, some kind of roots situation. But I am also pulling in that there's this idea of um like rotating crops. Part of the reason why you might be in this process is that so when things do start to spring forward for you, it's not like an elevator business, like up and down, like there's your one harvest and then that's it. It's so that way things are continuously like uh you're being able to harvest and then other things are popping up and then you're being able to harvest and then other things are popping up i think that might be what's going on but it does feel like it is frustrating you it does feel like it's frustrating you in your energy it's like it's frustrating me like even i was i was talking to the angels and i was trying to like go to bat for you i was like i need more answers like we need to <laughs> we need to figure out something here for saggy so i have a lot of your cards laid out but let's pray and then we're gonna start we're gonna start breaking these down and father god thank you for bringing me and sagittarius in today I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for Saji's highest of love, light, alignment, and discernment. We praise you, we love you, we thank you always to the utmost high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Sag. So your first card that you have out is you have the King of Swords. So this is you. You're like really trying to keep your shit together. Sag, you're like trying to be logical. You're trying to like sit in your authority. You're trying to like be empowered and you're not trying to let like your emotions cloud your judgment. Cause I think, you know, you're a fire sign when you get upset, when you get all like heated, all of a sudden it's like the, the internal compass, it starts, it starts going a little haywire and you need to make sure that regardless of how you feel, like you're still moving forward. Like you're still making your mark. You're still getting where you're supposed to be going. Even if you're not really sure where that is anymore. Now, this is interesting. You have the Empress in your second house. So this would be like your second house of value. So you're really, again, it's this forward, this forward thinking attitude that you have. You're like, I want to live in the blessing. I don't want to just hear about the blessing. I want to live tangibly material second house of the blessing, right? Like I, I want to have, again, this, this constant wave of inspiration. Like I want to feel like you know, the Empress is male or female. It's a very like fertile energy, which sometimes can relate better to like a Midas touch, a Midas touch energy. Cause sometimes the word fertile, like throws people off. But again, it's like, I want to have like this Midas touch. Like I want to live in the blessing. Like I want to be able to know it's like I'm under the covering. And also it's like, there's something about sitting, like her chair looks much more comfortable than his chair. That's like really sticking out. Right. It's like, it's like almost being like crammed to one of those little school desks. It's like you're trying to do your work. It's like you're trying to study. It's like you're trying to do the thing. But she's like straight chilling. She's like comfy. She's like lean back. She's just like, come what may, be it unto me, Lord. Whereas here, it's like you're trying to squeeze yourself in like a seat that's too small. So there's a, I, I also like wanting to have like a greater like comfort, really comfort in your life as well. Not so much of like a struggle, like this push and pull. Now you have the emperor. I know. I know, Sag, that came out in your third house of communication. And I almost feel like this is like, I, I might call your reading like spiritual negotiator, because this is what I feel like you're doing. It's almost like you're trying to negotiate with the universe. You're like, hey, I'll listen. Like, I've really been keeping my stuff together. I've been through it. Like, I've been trying to like harness my power and my authority. I've been trying to show you that like, I show up. I have perfect attendance, my homework, I turn it in, I'm getting good grades, right? It's like that kind of thing. You're like, I'm sitting in my emperor status. 
Like I'm doing what you're asking me to do. Like I'm, I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it all together, right? I'm trying to be logical. I'm trying to let my faith be bigger than my fear. I'm, I'm really, guys, like it's almost like showing like your, your backlog of work. You're like, I did all this. Do you see, do you remember I, you asked me to do all this and I did this. So I'm just wondering, you know, thank you. I'm very grateful, but I'm just wondering like when this stuff's going to start coming in for me like i'm just wondering because in your fourth house you have the ten of pentacles in reverse right so the ten of pentacles often talks about establishment right you're like i've been putting these lincoln logs together these building blocks but like when are they going to form a house that like i could live in i'm like a rolling stone and sometimes i'm going uphill and sometimes i'm going downhill um i forget what the uh i think it's in like greek mythology or something and it's it's the guy and he's constantly having to like push that big stone uphill every single day and then just rolls back down at night and then he has to get up the next day and just push it back up the hill it's like it's like groundhog's day a little bit i think that was uh aries reading last week that you're like when are these building blocks gonna make like a house that i could like sit in and and work in and be like settled and like have like a comfy place not just in my heart but like in my life like in my actual life now and you're it has some pleasures you do have the ten of swords in reverse which again you're really trying not to let your feelings get in the way of like your discernment and your judgment i think you probably already went through a phase probably through your youth where you were so fiery and passionate and you like were running around and doing you know whatever the hell you wanted and it probably led you into some really crazy ass places and so you've learned to kind of like harness that fire as like fuel you know chug a chug a choo choo keep you going so it's like I'm not trying to be burdened. I'm trying to have forgiveness. I'm trying to have an open mind. I'm trying to have an open heart. I don't want to feel burdened like that. I don't want to feel all depressed and weird. And that's going to make it harder for me to do the stuff that I'm doing because I have to do it from an authentic place. And right, it's like you're really doing the most. Like you're doing everything you possibly can. Then in your sixth house, which is your house of health, which talks about physical health, mental health, spiritual, emotional health. Um, but it's also, it's Virgo energy. So Virgo is very detail oriented. It's, it's the receipts, right? It's the day to day grind. You have the page of swords in reverse this is you again going i don't understand because the page of swords is like getting new revelations you're like i'm still operating off the last word that i got like <laughs> i haven't gotten like new instructions like am i supposed to change my course am i supposed to do something and this is like every single day like again pushing that stone like back up the hill and underneath the emperor again it's the guys i don't understand what the pro what the problem is like is it me is it the other people? Is it the location? Is it the work I'm doing? Is it how I'm doing it? Am I just not receiving my guidance properly? Like, this is like starting to affect me on a day to day. Because it's this idea of, again, not letting your emotions supersede like your logic and your faith and your discernment. But it's like this building. It's like this building up where it's like, you might like burst out like a fireball, like Dragon Ball Z. Like you really, I, I think that you don't want to do that. I think it's like this real energy of like, trying to like do self-control because the king of swords and the emperor are very very heavy on self-control and i think you don't want to like freak out and lash out and then like set yourself back but it's like the the farther in the dark you become it's like almost being like backed into a corner and you feel like you're gonna have to start like fighting your way out but that's like the old saggy that's not like the new awake ascended saggy so it's like again it's like a rock in a hard place and you gotta you gotta push yourself out of both now, in your seventh house of relationships, you have the eight of wands in reverse. So again, it's like, I'm getting left on red. I'm not, I don't understand. It's like, it's no communication. You're like, it's like a, it's like a start and stop. That's what they're saying. It's like a start and stop. You're like, okay, like this is like, okay, this is getting somewhere. Maybe this will be something. No, then it goes kaputs and you're like, well, what the hell? Okay, but I, mean, I guess it's not that person. All right, I forgive you. Okay, let's go forward. Like, okay, like I thought that this was going to be a good business, like connection. Like, awesome. Like, oh, nope. Okay, I guess that's not going anywhere. Okay, I forgive you. Like, happy spirit. Like, <laughs> just go forward. You're like, what the fuck? It's like, how many? It's like almost like, um, you, you have like little happy-go-lucky like tokens in your bag and it's like, you're running out of them. You're running out of your happy-go-lucky tokens. And when you're ninth house of death and rebirth, you do have the nine of wands in reverse, which says that again, underneath this 10 of swords, it's like, 
you're really not trying to feel salty about what's happening to you or what's been happening to you or you know what what may have gone on for you in the past you are really trying not to like put up any walls or any barriers you're like i listened to the youtube tarot lady she said i have to be open to receive my blessings so okay i'm gonna put my walls down <laughs> i'm gonna be open to receive my blessings but and now here's the kicker this is when i stopped pulling cards and i started having like a mini argument on your behalf i'm like trying to spiritually negotiate for you now this is your house of um your ninth house it's of spirituality Sagittarius, it's your house. It's also the house of higher learning institutions and all of its forms. You have the queen of wands. And now it's like, here, here's your angels, here's your guides. And they're like, Sag, just be confident. Just be confident. You know what you're doing. You know where you're going. Just be confident. You're strong. You're sexy. You're smart. You're like, female. You got this. You're good. And you're like, are you kidding me? This is what I a little upset when I was pulling your cards it's like after all of this and then it's like all I have to say to you is just have faith and be confident Sag and you're like it's like almost like white knuckling it you're like I've been doing that I mean I have the emperor do you see me I is the emperor do you, do you see you, you see <laughs> this is where I see you like pulling out all the receipts right you're like I don't understand this because look I did x y and z I even doubled back I did a b c I did I, try, I, I am confident. I am confident. Now I'm starting to get a little angry. It's like I'm starting to get a little irritated now. Oh, Sag. I know. I know. I'm trying to like, I feel like a mediator. I feel like you're a mediator right now. I'm like, you literally just told Sagittarius, just like, be confident. Like, what else do they need to do? Like, give me something else. Help me. Help, uh, help me help them. <laughs> Now, okay, so in your 10th house of ambition, it's your Capricorn house, Capricorn rules Saturn. Saturn talks about discipline, big daddy discipline. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So this is like, again, it's like Knight of Wands in reverse is like really impulsive. And again, it's like this, do you know what it is? Oh God, that's such a weird thing that they're showing me. You know when you like feel like you're gonna get sick and you're like, mm, and you like hold it in, you're like, mm, you're gonna hold it in. It's that like feeling like you're, backed into a corner and you have to like control yourself enough to be like oh jesus give me strength jesus give me strength like i'm gonna lose my mind i'm gonna lose my goddamn mind on these people like even if it's just like the angels and your guides you're like i'm gonna be screaming into the void in the middle of my house and if somebody one of the neighbors walks by one of these windows i'm gonna look insane i'm gonna look so fucking crazy it's a little bit like that it's like in your terms of your ambitions like you're feeling impulsive because it feels like they're not helping you like it feels like you're like did everything that was asked of you and now it's just like again I want to grow some moss I want the building blocks to make a house I, I need a roof it's starting to rain right it's like now I'm hearing that who song rain on me it's like you're really trying not to be impulsive but it's really really hard because especially underneath this eight of wands it almost feels like for some of you it feels like your guides just went silent like they like your angels your guides they were throwing you like angel number angel number feather feather butterfly and you were like inundated and you were like okay okay and now it's just like radio silence you're like are you kidding me you're like this is like the army this is like hurry up and wait what are you talking you're you're not talking at all you're not giving me any new information just like be confident and you're like <laughs> it's so it's like i feel your frustration and it's almost so it's almost funny but it's not funny because i hear you going it's not funny it's like it kind of is a little bit and we just had that Sagittarius moon the other day. So again, it's like this self-control. This is all like bubbling up like a hot sea, like inside of you. And again, they keep wanting to bring me back. It's like the control. It's like you're really controlling yourself. You're really trying to use your discernment. You're really trying not to carry around this baggage. You're really trying to like not let any, like the fact that you don't have much clarity going on like upset you too much and I think your last reading was called shiny moon and it was about you like wandering like into the woods like off on this journey and then it's like you like look to the side for a second the next thing you know it's like your compass was gone like the north star was gone and you were like wait where am I I'm lost like you led me into this place and now nobody's talking to me and I don't see anything and I'm confused So, in your 11th house of friendships, it's your Aquarian house. We're in Aquarius season. Happy birthday to any of my Aquarius placements. You have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So, it's you, this is almost you becoming like a little disheartened, honestly, especially with 
not receiving any communication in your house of relationships that it's almost like everyone's gone radio silent it's like your angels your guides your friends like people that you thought you maybe had a thing going with it's like the whole thing and again it's almost like i'm not trying to have up many barriers i'm not trying to put up any walls like i'm not you know and maybe and i don't know maybe it's a sign that like you should that you should establish some more boundaries like maybe i don't know apply pressure push back right it's like but it's like it's almost like it's you're losing steam that's what it is. It's like, I, I honest, I mean, I feel like, and again, I'm spiritually, I'm negotiating with you, for you, Sag, that it's like, they gotta throw you a bone. I guess they don't have to do anything, but if I was your spirit guide, I would be like, listen, we gotta throw Sagi a bone over here, or Sagi's gonna lose their mind. Sagi's gonna quit. Sagi's gonna become so disheartened, right? A, a heart, hope def deferred makes a heart grow sick. And so again, it's just almost feeling like, honestly, it's like almost, it almost feels like abandonment. It feels like you made me a promise and you sent me down this path and I've been like doing a good job. And I almost hear you going like, aren't I doing a good job? Like, didn't I do what you asked? Like, wasn't I obedient? Like, didn't I control myself? Like, didn't I show up? I have perfect attendance. Like, look at my grades. Like, I don't understand. And it's like almost we're turning it back in on yourself. Like, am I just doing something wrong? Like, why did you, so I'm going to hear you go like, why did you do this to me? But again, it's this energy of I'm, I'm already in so deep that it's like, I need your guidance. I need you to send me an angel number. Like, I need the breadcrumbs. I'm too far into the woods now. I need the breadcrumbs. So it's like, I can't be defensive. I can't cut you guys off because then what the heck am I going to do? But it is, it, 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 you, it is starting to, to weigh on you. It absolutely is. So Saggy needs a bone. Saggy needs a bone. Right? What's that saying? Like a dog without a bone? And they get all like, Ugh. That's weird. I saw like a video on Instagram yesterday and it was this dog outside and it was snowing and he like dug like a little hole by this tree and he put a bone in it and then he covered it back up with snow. So it's the idea of like this dog without a bone, but there might've been a seed that you planted like a long time ago. Sad. Again, coming back to the beginning of the read, we were talking about those like rotating crops that it was like a lot of like planting and not any like real fruition. Um, but there could have been like a seed you planted a long time ago that almost like you forgot about it, like over the course of a season, right? Because when the snow melts, normally that's spring. So you could have planted it in, an, in a past season, and you forgot about it and maybe that throwing you a bone is actually the bone that you planted for yourself that they had you plant for yourself a season ago and now as like spiritual spring is coming in it's gonna thaw out and you're gonna be able to see it and like enjoy it maybe I don't know no no, I'm not taking those cards. Because that's not helpful. I reject your reality and I substitute my own. How about that? Two of wands. No, that doesn't work for me. And that doesn't work for Sag. And I call bullshit on that. Because in your house of secrets, your 12th house, which your Piscean house, there's the two of wands in reverse, which talks about not fully like walking forward on a path, or not choosing a path or committing to a path because of like self doubt and like insecurity and all of that stuff, which is, you know, right above that ninth house of spirituality and higher learning talking about like, be more confident, like be more confident. So it's like here, it's like secret is Sag, like you're insecure, like you're, you're, you're doubting yourself, you need to be more confident, and that's going to make the change, but literally, again, I'm spiritually negotiating for you, because I'm like, no, that's bullshit, because look, it's like you're to in your total power and authority up here, you've got like your value straight, the empress also talks about value, which is why in order to get to the empress, you have to hit the nine of pentacles first, because that's personal value, you are valuing yourself, you are valuing your, your, like, your your skills and your gifts and your abilities. You are being able to to put your faith and your logic um both over your emotions because you know that emotions are fleeting and emotions are fickle. You have taken on a lot of stuff with the emperor. 
you are capable of, a, of handling a lot of responsibility and depend and you're very dependable as well. You've been very consistent. That's why I'm like arguing and negotiating on your behalf. Cause it's like, don't tell Sag that they're not being confident. Honestly, if, if it's anything, if it's anything at all, Sag, it's almost the fact that part of this radio silence is almost like letting you take the reins a little bit. That's the only thing I could, I can really pull out of this is that maybe you've followed the North Star so much. Maybe you've followed the breadcrumbs so like nose to the grindstone that you've, in a way, you've almost given over a part of your uh, sovereignty or authority or decision-making abilities. The idea that you can't make these decisions unless it's like given to you like they tell you to move and so you move right when I move you move just like that that might have part of this is maybe trying to instill a greater sense of trust in yourself that you don't necessarily need a lot of angel numbers you don't need to follow the breadcrumbs that like you know where to get the loaf that you've con maybe you've controlled that self-control so much that you've actually dimmed a little bit of your fire and if anything you maybe you do need to push your way like a little bit out of the corner a little bit almost like negotiate for yourself a little bit like go to the universe be like you told me this you told me that I did this and I did that and I'm pushing back now like I like self it's like self advocation there's something about that five of wands conflicts maybe you've been afraid of conflict you have the five of wands any of the six of swords this is conflict. This is competition. And then the Six of Swords talks about a transition. Five to six. Making progress. But again, this is also like tempering out that Fire Wands energy in order to move into a more logical Swords energy. And um, to move from the choppy waters to the, the calmer waters, the smoother pastures, the greener pastures. It, 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 you do hit like a couple bumps along the way. And there's almost this idea of, like, you're trying to, like, float, like, go with the flow sort of thing. But it's almost the idea of instead of, like, floating and going with the flow, like, I don't know, like, swimming against the tide, like, swimming against the current, like, doing, like, a breaststroke. Like, there, there is something in that because there is, like, a resistant energy here. The Five of Wands is telling me that there's a resistant energy. And I don't know if it's, like, projection from other people. I don't know if it's coming from somewhere in your in your ego or in your pride. I don't know if it's like spiritual resistance. Like, I don't know exactly where this resistance is coming from. It could be coming like a combination of everything else, but it's the idea that if you want to transition forward, almost having to push against that resistance, like stake your claim, make your case, like say no. It's almost like, instead of like, I don't want to have any walls or boundaries up. I almost see it almost like a like Vikings, maybe because I've been watching that show so much. It's almost like taking the boundary that like you don't, like you laid on the ground and being like, no, I'm just open to whatever. And being like picking it up and using it as a shield and be like, no, I'm not open to whatever. I'm open to my highest possible result, which is what I was told. And that's what I'm working so hard for. So it's like pushing the line farther away. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Four of Wands. Four of Wands, that foundation. And then a Six of Wands. That's victory and success. So you you might need to put your back into it. Saggy. So this is getting kind of long. I am going to take this over on the Patreon and I'm going to explore this four of wands and this six of wands a little bit. I want to explore this a little bit more and see what else I can pull out for you. Um, I'm going to try and continue to negotiate on, on your behalf. I love you guys so much. If you are interested in the extended reading or any of the February monthly readings, they're all out. The link for the Patreon is in the description box. Um, my email for personal readings is also in there. All the decks that I use on the channel and my social media links. And until I see you next time, Saggy, you stay prayed up. You stay blessed. You stay sweet. And I will see you very soon. Goodbye.